have I done? Diana. Diana, what have you done? You've killed him! You've killed him! No, 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 no! Sit, sit. What's the matter? Oh, I've killed him. I hit him. I hit him. I hit him with my car. All I wanted to do was drive out of the house, but he won't listen. He was so stubborn, he wouldn't let me drive out. So I thought, I thought if I move the car a little, he would get out of my way, but he didn't. So I ran him over. And I drove out. Wait, wait. No, he's not even there anymore. I don't know where he is. Calm down, okay? Let me understand you. <laughs> Who did you hit with your car? I hit Reggie now. Jesus! How could you hit your husband? He's not even there anymore. I can't find him. I don't know where he is. God, what is this? Who is he? Give him my life, give him my life. I'm sure he's not dead, okay? If he is, he will still be on that floor. Let's go. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. <laughs>
Hey, babe. Sorry, love. Yeah. How's the day? Mm. Rough. Mm. But I survived. Yeah. Mm. What happened? Well, when I finished work at 12, I had to fill in for Susan, who went into labor and was rushed to the hospital. Okay. I don't understand why people go into labor and leave everything for people to carry their shit. And when they were busy pounding themselves silly in their bedrooms, they didn't invite anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but is the baby due? Mm -hmm. I thought she still had like a whole month to go. Yeah, can you imagine? It was even forced labor. Are you serious? Yeah. But well, babe, what happened to you now? Where did you enter? Your shoes are so dirty. I don't know. I guess it was when I went to the grocery store. Mm. Uh, your shift was meant to end at 4 p.m. How come you stayed so late? I know. Benson, he was driving to the office and he smashed his car. So I had to do the 5 o'clock news. Weren't you watching? I was busy. But well, babe, mm. I think she has for a day off tomorrow. You're not the only one working in that station, you know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Babe, mm. you need to be more careful, you know. This shoe is almost ruined. Okay, Mr. Clean. <laughs> no shaker. Whatever. <laughs> Get some food into you. Mm -hmm. You know, I married the finest husband in the world. Mm. <laughs> That's very patronizing, you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could have said the most handsome honk or something. You know? No! <laughs> You're so vain. All other adjectives are contained in the finest husband. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. Let me let you finish, okay? Mm. Let's see. Uh, let me Are you trying to tense Big Daddy? <laughs> Baby, please. I'm not in that kind of mood right now. I'm tired. You don't need to be in the mood. That's what for please. for. <laughs> please. Please, <laughs> 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 me enjoy. I want to sleep. <laughs> See you. I haven't started already. Ready, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! 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 <laughs> Wait, the rubber. What the hell for? I'm not safe. You're not safe. Mm -mm. You don't want to get pregnant. You're a married woman. You're married for a year now. I did not say I don't want to get pregnant. I'm just saying I don't want to start a family yet, and you know it. You don't want to start a family yet. Mm -hmm. So when do you want to start a family? When you're 60? <laughs> Sweetie, let's not argue over this, okay? 
Mm. My career is going very well. And if I get pregnant now, it will disrupt everything. Please. See, I'm getting bigger responsibilities at work. You know, I just want to get my foothold in the industry and getting pregnant now will just... Baby, stop acting like this now. Today. Hi. Hi, Uncle. I'm on after my shift. Good morning. Okay, so because you're on after my shift, I will not get breakfast. Baby, I am so tired. Okay, just get a cup of coffee or something. Oh, there is um, bread and cheese in the refrigerator. You can have some of those and when I'm coming out, I'll just get you something to eat. Bread and cheese. Bread and cheese. Okay, don't worry. I'll remain hungry until you are out. That's whenever that will be. Because my wife is tired and she's still in bed. Or because you have an afternoon shift. Don't worry, no, don't worry yourself. Okay, I'll go somewhere else and find something to eat, okay? Thank you. It's eating you up, really. Nothing is eating me up, okay? I am just pissed that I have a wife and I still have to make my breakfast myself. Let me remind you, the reason why I actually got married is for me to get these little privileges. But now, I can't even get sex when I want to. Or even have breakfast when I want to. Thank you. Why are you sounding like you're in the 19th century? What's your problem? Uh -uh. What is wrong with you getting your own breakfast? <sighs> Come on, breakfast! Man, please, I cannot come and die at all. Please. are uh, insufferable okay can you imagine him saying oh he's not getting enough sex i didn't wake up early in the morning to make him breakfast can you imagine after all the work i did at the office i got back he wanted sex i said no he just carried the anger till the next morning well men are like that when it comes to their sexual needs they don't care what your physical condition is but you should have at least fixed him breakfast this morning. Who said are you on? I'm on your side. I'm just saying he has his faults and you have yours. Now it is your place to keep the peace in the home. <laughs> you know what? It's because you're not in a marriage. That's why you will not understand that. Men do not like peace, okay? What? Yes, they live what? in a constant state of conflict. <laughs> At home, when there's peace in my home, Brother Nat feels uncomfortable. He does. He's only happy when there's a fight. Come on, no. I'm serious. No, now that's not he possible. He thrives in arguments and conflict. Mm -mm. That does not sound like the Reginald I know. The Reginald I know is a peaceful, quiet man. Really? Yes. No, no man after the flesh, my dear. That's his public persona. At home, he's a roaring lion looking for who he made it for. <laughs> I'm serious. It's not funny. <laughs> you are so funny. It's not funny. <laughs> okay, fine. Now listen. So, 
this evening after the cocktails, take him upstairs, screw his brains out, and you will have peace in your home for at least a week. I guarantee you. Where did you get that from? <laughs> well, our pastor studied during my marriage counseling classes. <laughs> he says that is the best way to maintain peace in your home when the husband is becoming a little cranky. <laughs> I tell him, your pastor is great to him. <laughs> I love your pastor. I love him. <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> you should try it. <laughs> What's going on here? What the hell happened here? Hmm? Shit. I asked the question, Diane. Mm? What the hell happened here? You're shouting. I don't know how to write shouts. I asked what the hell happened here? And why is the house such a mess? And why are you drunk? I am not drunk. And please don't raise your voice over here, okay? I will raise my voice as much as I want to. I had a couple of friends over and I told you I was having my friends over, right? Is okay. that why you left the front door open? The lights on blazing. And you and your friends just turned my house into a big sign. Look at this. This is my house too, okay? And I care about the house as much as you do. Look, I, I was going to clean it up and... Why are you getting hot under the collar? I'm not getting hot under, under the collar. I'm just tired of coming back home and making my house such a mess. All you care about is painting your nails, your pretty face, and how pretty you look. Don't talk to me like that. I will talk to you anyhow I want to. Oh, rubbish. Ah. See, let it be the last time I come back to my house and you invite your friends over and you mess my house up. Let this be the last time you talk to me like that, okay? I am not your slave. I am not your house girl. Uh -uh. You go everywhere having dinners with your girlfriends that you call business associates and you come back here and shout at me? Why? I have the right to have fun, okay? I have the right to be happy. I want to be happy. I don't know. What did you just say to me? What did you just hear? Simple things, you just uh, serious. I'm oh. tired.
I'm sorry for last night. I mean, I shouldn't have said the things I said. But I was going to clean the house. Well, I slept on. And whenever you shout at me, I get upset. I don't like it. I'm almost sorry for shouting. But you know how much I don't like when the house is dirty? I know. It's like my sanctuary. And I always, I always want it to be clean every time. Yes, you do. Sorry. <laughs> Guess what? What? I made you the biggest gourmet English breakfast you've ever eaten in your life. Okay. Thank you, baby. See, I have a big hole in my belly. I right? know. I need to feel it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're done, mm -hmm. I'll take you to the bedroom and I'll show you the meanest mm -hmm. and the baddest experience you've never imagined. Bad girl. Bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up. I will. Okay. My troublesome woman. What did you call me? My troublemaker. Me! Yeah. Troublemaker! Me, troublemaker! <laughs> With you. Matter with me? Nothing. Don't be flippant with me. How could you use the toilet and not flush it? Is that the problem? I thought you were talking about something serious. So, messing up the toilet and not flushing it is not serious? Baby, there are soap suds on the wall. There, there's water on the floor and you're shit in the toilet. That's where it's supposed to be, isn't it? But you could have at least flushed it. Do you know how much work I put into that place to make it clean? Eh? After doing all this work, I go in there to use it and there you have your royal shit sitting inside the toilet. Stinking up the whole place. Babe, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. But that's not the only toilet in this house. Hmm? Your shit is in the guest toilet. You see, I was pressed this morning. Yeah, and besides, you occupied our toilet like I said, we rented in one apartment in Fifth Avenue. What was I supposed to do? Babe, see, if you want to flush it, just flush it. It won't take you any effort. Just. Yeah, good. Just think of that when you're using the bathroom next time. Dan, just flush the toilet. I won't kill you, okay? And see me thinking you came here to come for breakfast and. Can you? I am not giving you breakfast. If you want breakfast, it's in the kitchen. Dad. Yeah. Yes. Because of shit. Diane, really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So tired. How was your day? Busy. Yours? Mine was so, so bad. So hectic. Oh, it was as if, like he said, I am the only one that works in that office. They want to kill me with work. Can you imagine that I had to fill in for a writer and an editor that fell sick? 
and all the new sweats I had to wipe myself. When I finished in the afternoon, they asked me to go and interview that fat cow of a politician that calls himself Chief Egusom. That man is stinking. Gosh, his breath stinks like a corpse. <sighs> and he kept my crew and I waiting for like hours, all for him to stroll in and say, I am not ready for the interview. You guys should leave. Can you imagine? He could have at least called and said, you guys shouldn't come. That's not difficult, is it? And what I don't understand is what business the news department has always trying to get his comment. Any news that breaks out, they want his comment. Is he the only politician? Ryan, um, please see. I'm actually trying to work. So, my talk is a problem? Well, I didn't say that. But as you can see, I have work. Okay, but the chit chat is actually is distracting me. Hmm. If you want something to do, probably you can go to the kitchen and make me dinner. You know, I'm just having to so distracting me. So that's all I'm good for, right? Go into the kitchen and make you dinner. And at the end of the day, you climb over me like I'm the sack of fufu. And I'm not good enough to talk to you because you're working? Really? What kind of rubbish work is that? Eh? What kind of stupid work is that? Diane, what is that for? Have you done bad? Have you Don't you dare shout at me. Don't you dare. And if you're hungry, you go into that kitchen and make your dinner yourself. What rubbish? I've been working on this all morning. Because I have something to do tomorrow morning. But someone is done. Let's look at this now. You've ruined it. Look at this. What are you going to do about it? Hmm? Are you going to beat me? Go ahead and beat me! Beat me! That's all you're good at! Beat me! I wake up every morning very early to cook your breakfast! I clean the whole house just because my freaking clean ass of a husband wants the whole house shiny like a nurse's ass! I drive through the traffic to that stupid office that drives me like a slip! All for me to get back! And my sweet husband cannot listen to my worries! Are you for real? What's wrong with you? You're my husband! Be my husband! I can't even complain to anybody! What kind of life is this? Why am I asking for you to touch me? Don't touch me! Don't touch me. <laughs> Well, that is much pressure. Just take it easy, okay? Everything will be fine. Everything will be okay.
baby. <laughs> Good morning, baby. Breakfast in bed. What time is it? It's 7.30. I'm reading news this morning, so I have to run. I've made you lunch. It's in your basket in the kitchen, so don't forget to pick it up when you're leaving. Oh, oh God. Have a great day, baby. You're the best husband in the world. I love you. I am outside. Yes. Excuse me. Excuse me. Where is she? The girl that parked the car outside. Where is she? Did you drink where you're coming from or you've gone mad? Yes! And I will show you what madness looks like. Where is she? Where is the... Oh. He could not even let your erection come down before he came to open the door for me. Oh my God, I don't die. Where is this girl? Where is she? Come downstairs! Where is she? And I'm going absolutely. Two timing. Where is that? I'll 
I'll fish her. Go downstairs. If I meet you upstairs, I will design your face. You will recognize yourself tomorrow morning. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Write it down. Write it out. Where is she? Where is I'm talking to you. Where did you keep that? You have been complaining about your car giving you issues for some time. That is not the question. Where did you hide that? So I went out this morning to buy a new one for you. And I brought it home by myself. And this is the I get. A slap. A dirty slap to the face. I'm being accused of being an adulterer. A two-timing cheating bastard. You thought you knew me too. You thought you knew you. Who felt we had it all figured out all along. But all this while, we've been wrong. Every day, something new pops out. Whoa. Every day, something true comes out. Whoa. Sometimes we're like cat and dog All the time we kiss and hug We break up and make up We make up and break up Oh, but it never stops Oh, it never stops Yet the bond that we share Is so strong Yet the bond that we share Is so strong you know you haven't told me exactly what happened. Yeah. She slapped me. For what? I bought her a car and she slapped me. Why would she do something like that? The car, man, I don't know, but this is this is really this is crazy. I mean, guys, you have to sort yourself out, okay? You can't keep doing this all the time. The drama is too much. I'm tired, okay? I'm tired! <sighs> Take it easy, man. Just chill, you know? You Every can, time! You can crash here, you know, you can... Of course you can, I mean, you know, you're my man, you're like, you're welcome all the, any day. All right? Feel free, man. Feel at home. We're happy. All the times we're sad. Nobody is perfect, so don't expect me to be by the shoot I expect you to be. We will make mistakes, we will do all it takes to make it right. Because you and I were tied, the bond we share is so strong, even though sometimes we
Calling your number all night. Why are you this wicked? Eh? Okay, fine. I I was wrong. I admit it. I was wrong for accusing you wrongly. But that's not a good reason for you to just leave the house without saying a word to me and stay out all night. And you all be worried. I didn't even go to bed, I slept on the couch. Or for you to just stroll in here from wherever you're coming from and without even saying a word to me? Are you this wicked? Diane, I did not ask you to sleep on the couch. Neither did I ask you not to go to bed last night. And as for cutting your calls, I reckon that since I spent the night at my girlfriend's house, the same one you accused me of being with last night in the house, the same one you raised your hand, and slapped me for. I thought about it. I thought it was going to be a bad idea answering your call in front of her so she wouldn't slap me too. Baby, I, I am sorry. I am so sorry. I'm sorry. sorry for? I am sorry for, for slapping you. And I, I am so sorry for, for accusing you wrongly. Mm -hmm. And and I'm sorry for, for being so ungrateful. Sorry. A fat word of sorry is good enough for me. For To you yesterday. What is it? Same with the car. Open it. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I promise I will never insult you again. I promise. I, I, I will always respect you. I will never slap you again. I... It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sorry. It's fine, get up. Please. Get up, get up. Okay. I'm so get sorry. Up. It's fine, it's okay. You're too quick to temper. You're too quick to react to things. I'm sorry. But that won't stop me from loving you. Hmm? Come here. 
I'm sorry. That's fine. Where did you sleep last night? My girlfriend's house. Come here! You old man! Come here! Shameless old man! For what? So it's not me again, Abby? Not on your life. Guess what, Reggie? What? I love you. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Do you love me? Uh, I'm not sure, but I have to do some research to find out if I still love it. Hold my outside! I'll kill you! You are disturbing me. Go, go. I love you. What are you doing? Reading my papers. It's Sunday morning. So? It's time for church. Well, I don't feel like going to bed. No worries. Go ahead. Well, that's not good enough. You don't just wake up and don't feel like going to church. But I don't feel like going to church, babe. Isn't that good enough? Baby, the Bible says that we should not neglect the gathering of believers, as in the habits of some people. Hmm. And that. Preach on, preacher. Preach on, Pastor Diane. <laughs> when was the last time you went to church? Babe, God will not come down from heaven and crucify me on the cross. Neither will he throw me in the pits of hell for not going to church today and singing Hosanna or Hallelujah. I just want to catch up on some news, okay? So leave me alone. Uh -uh. Okay. That's how some people will start sleeping out of faith. And those in faith go around slapping people and accusing them of adultery and infidelity. Well, since we're posting Bible verses now, may I remind you that as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. <laughs>
You went to the dry cleaners. Yeah. And you collected all your clothes and he didn't call to you that I'll be needing mine. Do I sense resentments in that voice? It also didn't occur to you that I'll be going to work tomorrow morning. Diane, you came back from church. You saw me washing my car and you walked past me as if I don't even exist. Not even a good afternoon, honey. Meanwhile, you're the one who came up from church. That is not the point. I don't know the clothes you gave to the dry cleaner, so I don't know what to collect from him. And besides, his house is not that far from here. If you want to get your clothes, you can take a shower and go get it. Please, I don't want any trouble this afternoon. But how was service? You're very selfish, you know. What did you say to me? You heard me. You're so, so, so selfish. Huh? You didn't care about anything or anybody else. Everything is all about you, how you feel, how you see things. You how bought you pizza want yesterday things. and you finished it. You ate everything right in front of me. You didn't even ask, sweetheart, do you want a slice? I just stand there accusing me of being selfish. Now listen, I am sick and tired of your petulance and that rocking mouth of yours. If you insult me one more time again, I will give you the beating of your life. If you don't have any respect, I will teach you. Hey! Teach me what? Reginald, what can you teach me? Teach me and I will show you things you've never seen before in your life. Selfish bastard. What did you call me? I said you're a selfish bastard. What did you just call me? You're a selfish bastard! Take your time, okay? Are you? How do you... How do you... Ah! Where did you expect me? I love you the best. Wait for me. Ah. Touch me one more time. Diane, 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 That's a knife. Reginald! Look for me out. What's for lunch? Don't you have eyes? Well, I can only see one plate. <laughs> and I can see two hands. So you need a one dish food for me. Reginald Mwachuko, if you want food, I have graciously prepared the food for you. Okay? This is your kitchen. So you can open your pot and dish your food for yourself. I think you and I need to talk. There's nothing to talk about, my dear. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. It tastes like sawdust anyway. Yeah.
down. I have not eaten. Did you hear me? Will you put that phone down and answer me? Or what? Hmm? What would you do? Slap me again? I bought this phone for you, okay? And I expect you to listen to me when I'm talking to you. Give me my phone, Reginald. Reginald, give me my phone! You broke my phone. You broke my phone. You broke my phone first. What were you expecting? Ah, and by the way, why are you charging? What would you do? Eh? What Wait. would you do? Oh, like Zabi. Those are my clothes. Those are my clothes. Reginald! No, Reginald, why are you... You started this, yo. <laughs> Reginald and Wachiku, you started this. Just remember that. Remember you started this, so oh. Virgin out! Virgin out! Virgin out! Ta-da! No! Why? You don't mess with me. Serious, you don't mess with me, Jeremy. I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry. Do you know the amount of work I have put into this laptop? Do you know the kind of documents, important documents I have? You know how backbreaking it has been. And now I have stuck a fresh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do this. She broke my phone. I didn't know how to react. I am sorry. So sorry. Baby. I beg you to. Yeah, I won't be coming to the office today. I have a few of our construction sites in, in inspect today, so I'll be spending the rest of my day on the road. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, now, I tell you what, right? I will send you my house address so you can come over by like, say, 6.30. If that's not too inconvenient for you. Awesome. Okay, good. Yes, yes, I'll, 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 I'll let you know. That was good then. All right, see you. How's your day? Fine. Are you okay? Yeah. But you don't sound like it. I am fine. Hmm? Babe, like, 
<laughs> What's going on? What's wrong? Huh? Babe? I do not want to be called a bad woman again. And that's why I have refrained from making any trouble. But I don't know what I'm expected to do when I drive into my house and see a strange woman kissing my husband at my doorstep. And my husband doesn't think I deserve an explanation. What are you talking about? Who was that blood-sucking demon you were kissing downstairs? <laughs> I don't see any Bobby or Alibaba around here. <laughs> mm. <laughs> see, eh? you have a very profound way of putting things, I swear. <laughs> you see the <this> mouth. <laughs> Bless again, demon. If you think you get away with this, you have something else coming. You are not getting away with this one. I asked a question and I demand an answer. Who was that? If you like, pretend as if you don't hear me. Okay? But this rubbish you're doing has to stop. If you don't answer me now, I'll make sure I make this house unlivable for you. Who was that? Reginald, who was that? Who was that? Oh, you're running, right? Run! Run now! That's the only thing you're good at. Run! It won't save you. I'll be sitting here waiting for you. Rubbish. Diane. Diane, open this door. Diane. Uh -uh. Who is that? And why are you trying to break my door? Diane, open this door. Diane, open this door. Go back to where you're coming from. I said open this door now. And I said go back to that hall you've been fraternizing with. Diane! As for this house, you're not coming inside. My friend, I'm late for work. Come open this door, Joe. You have not seen anything yet. Diane! Stay there. I don't want Diane. See, eh? I don't want any trouble. I don't want to fight this morning, okay? So please, I am begging you in the name of God, come and open this door. It looks like you are hard of hearing, or your understanding has deserted you. I said, in English, go back to wherever you are coming from. See, I will break this door and I will come in there and do something that both of us will regret. Okay? Diane! Diane! So now I am counting from 1 to 10. Matthew. Open this door. 1. 2. Two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, <laughs> six, seven, seven, eight, <laughs> eight, nine, <laughs> nine, ten, ten. Okay, no, Allah.
Don't touch me. Diane, we need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. There's a lot to talk about. Look, I'm not in the mood for all those your whiny talks, okay? So if you don't mind, I'd like to sleep. My whiny talks. Reginald, I am tired of quarreling with you. I married you because you're older and I thought you'd be a little bit more mature than the average Indians in the street. But I just realized that there's no difference between you and them. Fine. I'm content with the way you are. Okay? But for the sake of peace, leave me alone. Please. Thank you. I'm on the same level as the basic idiots on the streets. Mm. Then, you're calling me an idiot. Don't you understand English? Eh? I just spoke English language when I said, I want to sleep. Please, let me be. Uh -uh. I'm not even lying down here, Seth. <laughs> Sebi will have a guest room. And where do you think you're going? I'm going to a place where I won't have somebody screaming down my ears just because they gathered a few naira notes to pay a bright price. See, that's how you want it. Now, listen. If you ever leave this room, if you step foot outside this room, you will never come back into it again. <laughs> and if you think I'm joking, then you'll know where to that go. Try me. See that thing that you want to do that's in your head? Go ahead and do it. Hmm? That thing that is so great that you think no other man has ever done. Bring in a woman that is better than me to warm your bed, clean your clothes, cook for you. You see, Diane, will be Diego. I don't care. One bit. Good night. You're trying me, Abby? Hi. You are trying me, Abby? You are trying me, Abby? No, 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 no. Sometimes we're happy, all the times we're sad. 
Nobody is perfect, so don't expect me to be. I am um, not a shooter. I expect you to be. Um, we will make mistakes. We will do all it takes to make it right. Because you and I, we're tied. The bond we share is so strong. Even though sometimes we don't get along, we don't get along. Said the bonds we share is so strong. Even though sometimes we don't get along, we don't get along. Look, Mr. Peter, can we today of his birthday? Susan was so shocked. Seriously, she was so shocked. She was clueless. Oh my God! Wow. <laughs> oh Jesus! Huh. I didn't know it was this late. Oh my wife! My wife will be climbing the wall by now. I know. You know you women. <laughs> If my husband had not told me he was coming late today, I'd be climbing the wall. Okay then. Yeah. I may be running. Okay. Say hi to him. I will. Please pick me some money. I won't forget. We're going to work. I promise. I will. All right. Oh. Who the hell is going again? Baby. Mr. Original. Where is the boss? Ah! Oh, stop! No! Hey, Mr. Original. Hey, stop! Don't stop! Don't stop! 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 I have to do the man at this house in my house. Wait, wait, wait. Not there, come over me, okay? You expect me to actually watch you, my daughter's wife, to do with another man? And you expect me to pass him on the back for coming to my house and sleep with my wife in my own house? You're even lucky that I don't have to go to this house. If you're gonna shut him, I'll be just crying and shut up. Hey, Jacob, bro. Over, don't try me, yo. Don't try me. Hey. Now listen to me. If you think you've got something, what happened today? You have nothing coming, okay? What is wrong with you? He's my colleague, and he came here to help me with the brief that I'll be submitting tomorrow. And all you could do is just punch him. Ah, what's wrong with you? Look, if you come near me this night, I swear to God, I will send you to Kibikiri. If I don't do that, then I'm not a woman. You're ah! cheating on me, and you stand here talking rubbish. I come out from work, and I see my wife kissing a monkey, and you still have the nerve to say rubbish. If I finish dealing with you, eh, you will never cheat on another man again. Now stand there. Stand there. Stand there. Stand there. Stand there. Okay. Keep quiet there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. What's wrong with you? I just stay there. I swear I will deal with this girl today. Oh rubbish. Let her go back here first. You know the problem with you is that I did not stab you the last time. Behave yourself. And that's why you have the mouth to talk to me. Behave yourself. I'll be carrying you today. Give it up. See. See. Behave. Behave. Stop. You are a man, right? Let me think you stop. You are a man, right? No, no, stop, stop. If you are mentioning men, you will be calling yourself a man, right? You will be calling yourself a man. Are you? Please, may I see Reggie? Reggie? Hmm? Yes, yes, Mr. Reginald Machuku. Hmm. Have you ever been stabbed slowly before? Hmm? Because right now I'm about to put this knife through your horrid stomach that it, it will come out of your... I'd like to see Rachel. That was my guest. 
That's the girl that brought the laptop. I have not paid her now. Oh, is that what she came to collect? Wow. So she came to collect you between her legs, with her legs towards the sky, screaming hallelujah! Screaming out of gratitude! You are sick. You are demented. You've totally, totally gone mad. Mad! Yeah. Mad! I know. It takes one madman to recognize another. is it going to take? I just walk up to the door and knock on it and say, baby, I am sorry about all that's been happening. Let's forget I said Come back to the room. I cannot get to Go to your wife. What's the worst that can happen? Does that say go to hell? Even that will be better than this silence. is your wife, my friend. You have slept with her countless times. Held her in your arms. I mean, even with the color of her shit and how her armpit smells when she hasn't taken a bath. She is not a freaking headmistress. So what are you afraid of? Come in, the door is not locked. <laughs> That keeps us together. That keeps us I'll go see my mom from the office. I'll come back a little late. Don't wait up for me. I have my keys and I'll let myself in when I get back. Have a nice day. You can. Yeah, it's so strong.
Why you treated them? Eh? See, the basket just should be squashed or something. Throw inside gutter. What is this, eh? Come, tell me what to do. I'm fucking torn to tell you. Tell me what to do now, oh? Eh? Eh? Okay. You want some money, Abi? Okay. Anything can happen to her. You be hard to catch me for it, oh? Eh? Okay. God has answered your prayers. Next time, it will not be cold water. But I'm watching the match and I think it's playing. So because you're watching the match, I should stop watching what I'm watching. Hmm? My friend. If you don't have something better to do, please don't disturb me. What you just want? My friend? So it's me that you're calling my friend? Eh? Yeah? Hey, 
now. Everything in this house, I bought in my own money. Okay? I don't see your name on anything in this house. So I will stand here and watch you take me what to do with my own properties or my things. Oh, Okay. Hmm. 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 Sam. Sam. What is Sam. it? What? I put some pancakes in the microwave. They are not there anymore. I threw them away. You threw them away? Yeah. They were stinking of the hmm. microwave. My mother made those pancakes for me and you threw my pancakes away. Huh. Should I have left them in the microwave to rot? Diana, since you got married, has your mother ever cooked anything and brought to this house before? Has she? Don't you ever bring my mother into this, okay? Don't you ever! The other day I called you selfish and you beat me up. Now it's my pancakes, my TV, my house, my microwave, mm -hmm. my everything. Mm. Whatever you want to do, do. If it's pancakes will cause problems, I will make pancakes for you. But don't ever bring my mother into this, okay? Or else, I will do something in this house that you would regret. <laughs> what the hell would you What will you do? I've spent five days in this house alone. All you have done is cook and eat alone. I let you do anything you want to do. But you don't even consider any other person, just yourself. And you sit down there and you call me selfish. Open your own mouth again and call me selfish again. And I will steal it for you forever. Rubbish. Now, if you know what's good for you, enter that kitchen now. I'm going to make you some pancakes. Oh, God. people are so shameless in their lives. You know what? Your mates are out there working, making money, collecting awards, and you are here. Fighting for pancakes. You know what? I think I've had enough. Since this is your house, the seats are yours, the toilet is yours, the microwave is yours, the pancakes are yours, I am leaving. You can have everything that belongs to you. Hmm? Yes. Diane. Obi yes. Diego. I'm done. Yeah. I am done. Oh. Yes. I am done. Everything has belongs to you, right? You can keep your house. I'm done. You are strong, I didn't know you were this strong. Very bad, Thank you. Know. Rubbish. I'm leaving. I'll come and start taking all these stupid things just because I want to get married. Or I want to stay married. Bye bye. Rubbish. I'm gonna be coming. What's TV? Rubbish. Enemies are confusion. Bye bye. I'm never coming back. Rubbish. Call in the name of marriage, I will not come and die. Come on. Diana! Come back, my friend. Come down. Come down, come down. Come down. Diana. What's wrong with this? Diana, take, take, take your time. Get out of my car! What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Get down, Joe. Hey. <laughs> if push comes to shove, I will knock you down. Story. You know that. Come right? and hit me now. You know I will knock you down. Get down from my car, my friend. Reginald, where you go? I am warning you. Me. Take your time, man. Get out of my way. Diana. I will knock you down. Diana. Get out of my way. Get down. Hey, God. Get okay. from my car, Joe. What's what, what? Sometimes we're like cat and dogs. All the time we kiss and hug. We break up and make up, we make up and break up. Oh, but a 
never stops. Oh, it never stops. Yet the bond that we share is so strong. Yes, the bond that we share is so strong. Mr. Reginald, how are you feeling now? Hope you're getting better. Okay, uh, I was going to ask. Uh, Mr. Chinedu, you know better than to come in here. And who is she? My wife. She, she's the one who ran me over her car. What? I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Please, baby. Thank you. Please. Please. What if I had died? You'd be telling me sorry by now. I was going to ask, what were you thinking, Manda? Don't know. We're having a fight and I didn't know to get to this. I didn't know, baby. Just <laughs> 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 Something for you to start your day before I make breakfast. You didn't go to work today? No. Someone will fill in for me. I just want to stay at home and get to know my husband. To so get to know him? You didn't know him? I used to ask why people who are quarreling shout at each other, even when they are standing face to face. I found out that it's not because it's hard to hear each other when you're quarreling, but because there's a lot of distance between them and their hearts. Standing at the altar, a smile on our lips and butterflies in our stomachs. We dream about the perfect lives with our perfect partners. But we never imagine that perfection exists only in our imaginations and that people, no matter what they say, with their hearts, with their lips, and no matter what their mind thinks, are actually perfect strangers in their hearts. Really perfect strangers. What? The big fusha. Mm -hmm. But I love this fool. And I'll choose this fool over any other woman out there. <laughs> I'm serious. You're a bigger fool. You're my fool. I love you. No. You're a fool. <laughs> You're my kid. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll keep us together without love.